A number of years ago, there were a series of books called Magic Eye, which are basically hidden pictures. If you looked at them just right, or if you looked at them from a certain angle, uh, you were able to see something hidden in the picture, which just looked like a big design. I was never good at that. I was very frustrated that everyone else seemed to be able to see these hidden pictures. And uh, I didn't maintain much interest in it because I wasn't good at it. But I give that example because just like there can be things that are hard to see by our natural eyes, things that can be hidden. So the Bible says that there are things that we won't see in the supernatural realm unless we have eyes that see. So what does that mean? The Bible says that our spiritual senses, our ability to see or understand, can be developed. First, let's talk about Jesus. Now, it says in the Bible that when Jesus was on earth, there was nothing about his appearance that would draw people to him, that would make him stand out as a king or as God in human flesh. However, it does say that he was full of the Holy Spirit, full of grace and truth. And so the people who recognized Jesus as the Son of God who came to die for our sins, they discerned spiritually who Jesus was. You couldn't just look at him and know he didn't glow or shine like you might see in some of the pictures. It had to be discerned. And in a similar vein, the Bible teaches that there are spiritual forces that go on around us in addition to or as another level of what we observe by our human eyes and ears and senses. So it is important if you want to understand Jesus and if you want to understand the world around you to have your spiritual senses increased. How do we do that? Well, first of all, the Bible tells us that it, to ask, to seek, and to knock. I bet you've heard these verses in Matthew 7, 7 and 8. Keep on asking, and it will be given you. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be opened. For everyone who keeps on asking receives, and he who keeps on seeking finds. And to him who keeps on knocking, the door will be opened. Just like it takes effort to develop physical muscle, it takes a certain element of perseverance to develop spiritual strength and discernment. So here are some tips on how to do that. We need to obey what we know. If we know what's right and we don't do it, we can lose our spiritual sensitivity. It's sort of like cataracts that develop over your eyes. We can ask God to forgive us and then receive that forgiveness when we've done something we know is wrong. That will keep your vision clean. Keep seeking, keep knocking in your daily life through God's word, through prayer, through your own individual time of being in God's presence. I'm sure you've heard me talk about that before. We don't wanna rely on other people for what they think or what they see, although that can be useful but keep your relationship with God and your discernment developing through your relationship with Jesus Christ. You don't want to rely on secondhand food. You don't want to rely on secondhand discernment. So let me pray for you. Lord, I pray you would bless this listener with eyes that see and ears that hear, that they would continue to grow in discernment and their ability to enjoy your love, your wisdom, and your presence, your direction in their daily life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is Dr. Tony Cooper. Thanks for listening. If this helped you, check out my other videos on YouTube, my books on Amazon. You can check out my podcast, Life Without Baggage, on your favorite platform. Or check out my website to find out about speaking engagements.